It's National Women's History Month, and women have made big strides toward getting into leadership roles at major companies across America, but there's still more work to be done. Michael Yoshida spoke with experts to discuss the major hurdles that women still face when reaching for the top jobs. Researchers and leaders we spoke with say that women's representation in companies' executive leadership is the highest it's ever been, but still there are other areas where the progress is lagging. Women are making hard-fought gains in the C-suites at America top public companies. That's according to the 2023 Women in the Workplace survey from consultants McKinsey and Company in partnership with LeanIn.org. We are breaking through that glass ceiling. We used to see that one in five women were in the C-suite, and today that's one in four. Still, progress is lagging in the middle of the pipeline, with a lack of routes out of entry-level jobs for women, something Yi calls the broken rung. For every 100 men, that received that first awesome promotion in the United States, only 87 women have those same odds. The problem exacerbated for women of color. The survey saying they are underrepresented at every stage of the pipeline and make up only 6% of the C-suite. Some companies need a jolt. Sometimes you need to say, we are not where we should be. Women's participation rate in the workforce reached record heights last year, according to the Labor Department. But the pay gap remains a problem. A Pew report shows women earned 82 cents on the dollar in 2022 compared to men. Terry Boyer is the founding director of Villanova's McNulty Institute for Women's Leadership. We often tell employers is you're going to have to pay attention to this and really dive deep, reframe the perception of what it means to lead based on women's experiences. And the only way you're going to do that is by listening to women. And when it comes to the wage gap, according to Dr. Boyer, who you just heard from, she says that there's no quick fix, whether it be a legislative action or company policy. She says it really comes down to each company taking a hard look at its own organizational structure from position to position and again at those pathways for promotion from entry level to middle management to then executive leadership. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.